Hi there. Whenever we're looking at the increasing use of technology in business, we're going to more likely than not come across the concept of big data. So let's just spend a few minutes exploring what it's meant by the concept of big data. Whenever you use an Oyster card on the London Underground, whenever you search in a search engine or ask Alexa to give you the answer to something, and definitely whenever you use a mobile app like Uber, you're adding to the stockpile of big data. What it is, it's the collection and analysis of huge mega data sets, not just from traditional sources, but increasingly from digital sources. The aggregation of those data sets is one thing, but of course the key then is to identify trends and patterns uh, from that data that can be used in decision making. There are many reasons why big data is becoming so big. If you imagine the increasing use of online or e-commerce, every product, every transaction, everything you add to carts, to your shopping cart is added to a database that is all part of the big data uh, world. Every time you interact in any way with a mobile device, with a website, any time you use a logistics or transportation system that has smart or digital ticketing. These are all aspects of big data that are adding to those piles of bits held on the servers. Similarly, social media interaction, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Instagram. And of course, if you use any mobile apps that have GPS functionality embedded in them, that's also adding to big data. And lastly, but definitely not least, is what's known as the Internet of Things. These smart devices, such as smart fridges, and uh, those uh, clever devices you have on your front door that tells you who's arriving. The Internet of Things is, of course, a big part of the growth of, of big data. And, of course, the reason for this is that it provides lots of opportunities for businesses to provide potential benefits to us as consumers, as well as business advantage. So, for example, uh, let's pick a couple out here from this list on the screen. Generating marketing insights. It's definitely the case that uh, there is a huge industry now around how businesses can start to segment and better target and position their products around the insights gained from e-commerce, analytics, social media posts and other sources of big data. Uh, similarly, we also see big data being used to manage capacity more efficiently. So, for example, you'll see this with transportation and logistics systems where capacity is being managed flexibly based around the data patterns that have been picked up in real time. So big data is here to stay, uh, no doubt at all about it, but don't forget uh, there's always another side to the argument and I think with big data the key argument to, uh, to build in into your answers is around ethics. We've recently seen Facebook hauled before Congress in the US because of the issues around their data security and data privacy. And uh, we see in uh, May, 27, May 2018, sorry, the implementation of GDPR, which is a, a European-wide uh, regulation, set of regulations, to try to provide consumers with greater protection against the gathering and use of big data. So there we go. That's just a, a brief introduction to uh, the concept of big data.